So, you made it past the gate guard. Do I know you? Uh, not yet, but you will soon. We have something in common, you see. Oh yeah? What's that? Well, we're both standing here. <laughs> but maybe this isn't the time for joking around. I'm Hank. How you doing? I bet you worked hard to get in here, huh? <laughs> it's a slog. Believe me, I know. I had to work with the salvagers back in the day before I was allowed in. So, I want to make you an offer. A little head start never hurt anyone. And what exactly do you have to offer? Something you won't find anywhere else. Let's talk business. I have no issue with shards, but there are plenty of other more interesting ways to pay. I trade items, for example. Then put the profits to good use. But since we all need shards sometimes, how about making a small investment? Consider it an advance on any future business. Once it's made, we can exchange things sometimes, and I'll give you something valuable in return. That doesn't sound so great right now. You'll change your mind when you see what I'm about to offer you. You don't seem convinced. Let me explain. You give me shards, I invest them wisely. I'm not interested in wasting my time or yours. You should see the rare, priceless pieces I've got my hands on before. It's what I do. Trust me. Here, shake my hand. I can tell you're starting to realize it makes sense. Is that enough? Are we good? Oh, we're good. You won't regret it. Don't get tricked out of the rest of your shards now. It can happen. It's why I mostly trade in objects. You get it. I can tell. How does two days sound? Then I'll have something you won't believe. I'm excited just thinking about it. Meet me back here. Got anything to trade? Oh, you're too early. Come back later. You really think so? I'm in. I'll work for you. What the? Are you insane? Yelling in the middle of the day, right in the middle of the damn street. Far too many people who could listen in here. Meet me at midnight next to the entrance to the upper district. Same as last time. I don't know the guy. I could go there. Oh. How about a drink? Are you out of your mind? That's it! You're about to learn why nobody fucks with me! Let's get this guy! Not now! Of course. Great! I said I wanted to show you something. But actually, I want your opinion. Nobody listens to me. That's life. Yeah, yeah, come on. We have to go behind Hitch's hut. I'm not technically allowed to go there anymore. But now you're coming with me. I wish I wasn't. Don't worry, mister. I bet 
you're surprised to be here. So, go on. We're behind the hut. What am I supposed to be looking at? You adults are so big, you forget to look down at your feet. There are so many cigarettes on the ground here. Cigarettes. That's what I said. Cigarettes. Look closely at them. And then tell me what you see. Look, but don't touch. That's important. They're wet and disgusting. A few cigarette butts. Nothing out of the ordinary. I said look, don't touch. Yeah, yeah, okay. I am not touching that. About those cigarettes. Yeah, what do you think? Are you hiding behind the hut to smoke? Ew! No, they're disgusting. They look okay to me. That's not the point, though. Why don't you just tell me what's going on? I always have to explain everything. Think. Why would anyone smoke so much? They could be stressed. No. Waiting. Someone was waiting here. And they spent all their time staring through the window. Now why would someone do that? They were planning on stealing something? But nobody stole anything from Hitch. So what's your theory? I think someone was standing outside Hitch's hut, waiting for him to leave. Then they went inside and caused all sorts of trouble. That sounds like you know everything already. Why do you even need me? You're here to tell me I'm right. Maybe your head is too full of ideas. You're stupid. I have to go. I gotta talk to Hitch. I need to get to the bottom of this. Bye, mister. I'm going to take off. It's really annoying. I don't believe that. What do you want, you snotty brat? Haven't I told you to get lost? But I can help you find out who is in your hut. You were hanging out behind my house again. Yeah, but only because... Get out of here. Go out and play or something. I don't have time for your games. Damn kids. No... Hi there. Hmm. I know you, don't I? Not in the mood for a chat. Unless you want to scrub this floor? No? Well, that's a fucking surprise. What's going on here? Some filthy bastard used my hut as a public shitter. Dumped the load next to my damn bed. Oh, that's just disgusting. You're telling me. It's my fucking hut. Till I find out who did it, Fenris will have to assign someone else to the South Gate. You spend your time looking out for people, and how do they repay you? With a turd in your house. Don't know why I fucking bother. 
Do you need a bucket of water? No, I can do it myself. Let me give you some advice. Keep an eye on those little shits. No, the kids, not the lump on my floor. Bet my life one of them are responsible for this. A good beating would sort the little fuckers out if you ask me. Keep going. Ugh, my head. The infection. I'd already forgotten about it again. If I don't get a handle on it, that thing is going to happen to me. for you. Okay, listen up. Before I take you to our hideout and make introductions, I need something. I need evidence that I can trust you. Like what? I need you to, uh, <laughs> get your hands dirty. We need to know you're prepared to take risks for us and have some thieving skills. No problem. What do you want me to steal? I want you to steal a ring. Just a ring? Well, no, 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 not just any old ring. It's a valuable piece that belongs to a wealthy trader who lives in the upper district. He won't miss it. How do I get it? That well, shouldn't be a problem. You see, as a cook, I have access to the upper district. I collect the ingredients from my kitchen there. I know this trader has a secret entrance into his house. A kind of escape route. That is your way in. There's a device on the outside of his house that'll open the path for you. It should be simple. At night, access the secret entrance, sneak into the house, and steal the trader's signet ring. Got it? Come and see me when you're done. Oh, uh, <laughs> nearly forgot. The device needs a key. Lucky for you, I already made a copy without him noticing. Lucky indeed. We claws like to be well prepared. Okay, well I'm out. Good luck! See you when the job's done! Skinny's keys seem to work. Doors open. Got it. I should take the ring to Skinny. Should probably lock it again.
I stole the ring for you. Fantastic, but it's not for me. This ring's your ticket into our world, so uh, keep it for now. By the way, you did close the secret passage, right? Wouldn't be good if someone saw it open. What do you think? This ain't amateur hour. <laughs> I didn't think it was. You'll make a fine addition to our little gang of thieves. Now, uh, come with me. Time to introduce you to someone. Where are we going? Uh, no questions, just follow me. I'll show you the door, but uh, you have to go through it alone. Claws work solo, see that's how it works. Nobody knows I tested you. So she has a last word. If she thinks you're trustworthy, well my friend, you are in. Listen pal, I hate this vague bullshit. Who's she? I said no questions, didn't I? Just be patient. You'll see soon enough. Almost there. This is your hiding place? This? <laughs> of course not. See the trap door there on the floor? Yeah, let me unlock it for you. Okay, it's all yours. In you go. Just don't forget to close the tunnel back up when you leave. See you around. Hopefully. Wait, aren't you coming? Nope. You have to do this alone. Good luck. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Open. Welcome to the underground. I'm Yasma. But before you say a word, I have to get this out. I don't want to know who you are. I don't want to know your name, and I don't care where you came from. Remember that, and we'll get along just fine. Haven't we met before? I don't know, and I don't care either. The claws tend to disappear and never come back. They join other factions or end up dead. I've lost too many people I cared about. So I don't have any friends, and I don't care to make any. You don't seem surprised to see me. You being here means someone from the Claws vouched for you and showed you where our hideout is. You're not just here for your health. You've proven yourself to earn your place here. So what happens now? Well, if you're here, you would have had orders to steal something, right? Whatever that is, give it to me. Skinny said I could keep the ring. Right up until I asked for it. This ring is insurance. It has your fingerprints on it. That means if you blow our cover, you'll be going down with us. Now hand it over. Good. Don't worry, I'll keep it safe for you. We wouldn't want anyone to find it with your fingerprints on it. That'd be a shame. It'd give them an excuse to lock you up. Now, why are you really here? I'm here to earn some shards. That, I'd believe. But it's still not the reason why you're here. I'll ask again. Why are you here? The real reason. I want to join you. That may be true, but that's not why you're here. Now tell me the truth. Skinny talked me into coming. 
You wouldn't be here if you hadn't followed him of your own volition. Now tell me the truth. Why are you here? I'm disappointed. I know Wolf sent you to take down our network. You knew? Of course. We're the Claws. We know everything, see everything, and hear everything. Never underestimate us. If you knew that, then why'd you bring me here? I arranged this little test and sent Skinny to administer it. We hope to win you over so you join our cause. To show you I trust you, you can leave again. Alive. Tell me more about yourself. When we get to know each other better, I will. Take this. Propaganda leaflets. What am I supposed to do with them? They're proof that you found us. We've set up some old ruins near the fort to make it look like our hideout. Take these leaflets to Wolf. Tell him you found our camp. Then send him over to the decoy in the ruins. Do that, and it'll take the heat off us for a while. Then I'll answer all your questions. Should probably lock it again. listening you think so I think you're full of shit I found the outlaws hideout you're absolutely sure yeah where is it underneath the fort there's a hidden trap door that leads right into their den outstanding work I'll send a few men down there right away. I have to say, I'm impressed. That gang had a bounty on their heads, so you have a nice reward coming your way. You earned it, all right. I'll be sure to tell Fenris how well you did. I got this from them. They tried to win me over to their cause. Great job bringing that to me. I'll make sure all these flyers are destroyed. See you around. You better be quiet. Apparently they're still in trouble. Shouldn't you be in bed? I'm not tired. Go on. Off you go. Uh, no? Maybe I should talk to your parents. Can't. They're dead. Oh, okay. Well, uh... I can take care of myself. Good night.
Got anything to trade? Oh, you're too early. Come back later. Heard you're having problems with Reavers. Well, the man can read. Suppose you found the notice. It's gone on for too long. Nobody steals from our people and gets away with it. You need help? No. We've got it under control. And you should be keeping your head down. And if I get involved anyway? You looking to die? You wouldn't survive it. So don't even think about going for a reward. I'll be brief. Stay out of it. Just can't do that yet. I'm coming for you!
They can stop sneaking around. I'm gonna smash your face in! I'm gonna smash your face in! from the heart of Magalon. Remember what Helix can do. Remember.
took this from the Reavers. You? How the hell did you manage that? Instead of asking questions, how about you just pay me? Don't forget who you're talking to. Here, take this. That's it? For you, that's it. I don't like you playing hero even though I warned you off. If they'd killed you, they would have known we were onto them. So don't think I like what you did. I know what I'm doing. So do I. Wait a minute. I think I see an opportunity here. Oh yeah? All of a sudden? What makes you think I'd still be interested? Eh, the situation is different now. You'd be acting directly on my behalf. Listen to me, and you'll have so many shards you won't know where to spend them. Fine. What's your idea? You've already proven that you can handle yourself against a couple of Reavers. But what about something... bigger? Could you take that on? Giant Reavers. Sure, no problem. Smartass, I'm talking about a troll. That beast has three of our best warriors on its conscience. I was sure they'd be able to get rid of it. So I need someone who's got the brawn and the brains to tackle this job. About that troll. Why don't your hunters take care of it? Those idiots? <laughs> live and let live, my ass. Astrid says we provoked the fucking thing, and now it's our fault it's causing trouble. But what are we supposed to do, huh? Just sit and watch until it gets past the gates? Then we'll have the cultivators on our asses, too. So I talked to Fenris about it and decided to send out a few warriors. That was a mistake, as it turns out. No, no, you've got to act, even if it means you might fail. The real mistake would be doing nothing at all. Where can I find the troll? Like I said, that beast is getting dangerously close. Try northwest of the seedling fields. If you want to be absolutely sure, go see Astrid. Her hut is in the area, too. You might even convince her to go out on the hunt with you. I'll take care of it. It's not going to be a walk in the park. If you don't take this seriously, you might as well draw up your will now. But what am I saying? I'm sure you know what to do. Go slaughter that beast. <laughs> 